In this lesson, you will learn PMDA's international activities. As clearly stated in the PMDA International Strategic Plan 2015, PMDA is proactively participating in international harmonization activities and strengthening its contributions to them. ICMRA, International Coalition of Medicines Regulatory Authorities, is a high-level support organization led by the heads of regulatory authorities, and it determines the direction of international cooperation. The members consist of the regulatory authorities in 36 countries and regions and the WHO. ICMRA issues joint statements on measures against global issues, such as Ebola virus disease, Zika virus infection, drug resistance, and vaccines. Since March 2020, ICMRA has held numerous virtual meetings with more than 100 participants each time to discuss COVID-19, including scientific experts and observers, in addition to organization members from the 36 member countries. This slide shows some of the major activities concerning COVID-19. Global Regulatory Workshop on COVID-19 Vaccine Development, Global Regulatory Workshop on COVID-19 Therapeutic Development, ICMRA Industry Workshop on Enabling Manufacturing Capacity in the COVID-19 Pandemic, Global Regulatory Workshop on COVID-19 Real-World Evidence and Observational Studies, Vaccine Safety Collaboration Workshop, Pregnancy and Lactation Workshop, COVID-19 Virus Variants Workshop. ICMRA has also issued statements on treatments and vaccines for COVID-19, as well as the clinical trials concerning them and the integrity of related data. The next topic is ICH. As you know, ICH is a council established in 1990, which harmonizes pharmaceutical regulations among various countries and regions. ICH aims to standardize pharmaceutical reviews and other related matters by establishing common guidelines, including test methods and formats. Japan has participated as a founding member since its establishment. As of August 2023, there are a total of 21 ICH member organizations, including the founding members, the US FDA, the European Medicines Agency, EMA, the PMDA and Ministry of Health, Labor and Welfare, Health Canada, Swiss Medic, the Brazilian Health Regulatory Agency, and Visa, the Ministry of Food and Drug Safety, MFDS, the National Medical Products Administration, NMPA, the Health Sciences Authority, HSA, the Taiwan Food and Drug Administration, TFDA, the Turkish Medicines and Medical Devices Agency, TITCK, the Comisión Federal para la Protección contra Riesgos Sanitarios, COFEPRIS, the Medicines and Healthcare Products Regulatory Agency, MHRA, the Saudi Food and Drug Authority, SFDA, and the Egyptian Drug Authority, EDA. ICH guidelines are categorized into four categories, depending on the area to which they apply. As shown here, these four areas are quality, safety, efficacy, and multidisciplinary. Quality refers to guidelines for pharmaceutical stability and quality. Only non-clinical guidelines should be included in the safety category. Clinical guidelines fall under efficacy, which will be explained next, even though the subject of these guidelines may be related to safety. All types of clinical guidelines are categorized into the efficacy category. Other guidelines not categorized into the quality, non-clinical, and clinical groups, which I mentioned earlier, are categorized into the multidisciplinary area shown in the last row. Specific codes are used to refer to each guideline. These consist of the initial for their category, Q, S, E, or M, and a sequence of numbers. RHSC is one of the committees working under APEC, which is an economic collaboration framework comprised of 21 economies in the Asia-Pacific region and is tasked with promoting the regulatory convergence of pharmaceuticals and medical devices in the region. Major regulatory authorities, industry organizations, and academia participate in the RHSC committee, and Japan and the United States serve as co-chairs. 
RHSC sets the priority work areas, PWAs, for regulatory convergence as well as the subjects of training seminars and also designates regulatory authorities and academic institutions which have excellent knowledge and experience in the region as centers of excellence, COEs. COEs provide training seminars for other regulatory authorities and related personnel, promoting regulatory convergence. PMDA was endorsed as a COE by APEC for the Multi-Regional Clinical Trials, MRCT, and Good Clinical Practice, GCP, Inspection, PWA, and the Pharmacovigilance, PWA, in 2017, as well as the Medical Device, PWA, in 2020. The Asia Training Center for Pharmaceuticals and Medical Devices Regulatory Affairs, PMDA ATC, provides training seminars related to these three areas. Also, the National Cancer Center Japan was endorsed by APEC as a joint COE with PMDA for MRCT and GCP in 2021. Furthermore, Kobe University held a workshop for the Biotherapeutics PWA with support from the Ministry of Health, Labor, and Welfare, and it was endorsed as a COE in 2020. Kobe University was the first COE endorsement awarded to any academic institution in Japan. In 2012, GHTF was replaced by the International Medical Device Regulators Forum, IMDRF, consisting of only regulatory authorities. IMDRF is a voluntary group of medical device regulators from around the world who have come together to build on the foundational work of GHTF, and it aims to accelerate international medical device regulatory harmonization and convergence. The members of the IMDRF Management Committee are Australia, Brazil, Canada, China, the EU, Japan, Russia, Singapore, South Korea, the USA, and the UK. Also, the World Health Organization, WHO, Argentina, and Switzerland join as official observers, and the Regulatory Harmonization Steering Committee, RHSC, Global Harmonization Working Party, GHWP, and Pan American Health Organization, PAHO, join as regional harmonization initiatives. South Africa joins as an affiliate member. This chart shows the structure of IMDRF. The IMDRF Management Committee provides guidance on strategies, policies, directions, membership, and activities of the forum. Furthermore, the Management Committee oversees working groups which draw upon expertise from various stakeholder groups such as industry, academia, healthcare professional, consumer, and patient groups. Each working group is set under the MC. IMDRF compiled Strategic Plan 2021 in the fall of 2020. This plan describes what IMDRF should prioritize for the five-year period from 2021 to 2025. Three categories were determined as priority areas, pre-market, post-market, and relationships with stakeholders. In the previous slide, there are working groups for AI and cybersecurity. The plan also notes that providing timely and appropriate guidance is important for commercialization of such medical devices and innovative techniques. Accordingly, the development of regulations is considered to be a prerequisite for achieving innovation.